Hey guys. <laughs> okay, so I have a question from a fan on Twitter for you guys. Uh, what gives you the motivation to never stop following your dreams and what you believe in? And after you're done answering that question, I know there's a lot of you, so if there's any of you that wants to give a really quick, brief thank you that you didn't get to give on stage, we have a thank you camera right there. But question first. <laughs> What, what motivates to keep pursuing what you believe in and dream in? What motivates? Uh, oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to speak for everyone. Uh, no. Um, you know what it is? It's, it's the, um, it's, 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 for me, it's like this burning, I think, desire, and I think everyone here has that, of sort of just un, like not being fulfilled, honestly. And that, it sounds sad, but it's really not. It's sort of this... Um, this feeling that w when you get something, you want more of it. It's, um, and I know that sounds selfish, but it's, it's not, I don't think, is it? I don't know. That, apparently, no one up here agrees with me. So, no, no, it's great. Uh, it's great. It's, yeah. it's good. What do you think? Uh, what motivates me is being able to uh, see these guys every time I work. This, this cast is more, is more like a family. Yeah to me and to be able to uh, see each and every one of them every time I work, I, you know, not every time because we work so separately sometimes, but whenever I, I get to see somebody that I work with and, and get to experience what they bring to every scene, every uh, emotion that they convey in a scene is just, it's something that's beautiful to watch. And so I love just working with each one of these people, that's what motivates me. I don't know about you, um, Eris, what do you think? Eris, you, you're, you're a good speaker. You should... Yeah, you're really good. <gasps> yeah, you, and you, yeah. Okay. So, what motivates me every day? Uh, I mean, sorry, can I get the question again? What motivates you to keep following what you believe in and your dreams? God. God motivates me every single day. He's my drive and he's my fuel. And I know, and I want to like, and I want to resemble um, every girl and just every kid in general and I want to inspire people because I used to be one of those girls in Los Angeles that would think, oh, I would never make it in this industry. Oh, like they wouldn't take me seriously. Oh, well, like a, a black girl like can't do this and can't do that, but look where I am. And I'm only 13, I'm from LA. And you can follow your dreams and you can be what you are and age does not matter in this case. And I guess what motivates me is all those kids I want to inspire and God and yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> And any final thank yous from you guys? Do any of you guys want to thank people really quickly? Thank you. Yeah. Our parents. Yeah. Our parents. Yeah. yeah. You do it, dude. Sterling. You talking to us? Hey. You should have brought the other one. Good time. Ensemble winner. Fresh off another uh, SAG victory. Here we go. Woo. Two time ensemble winner, Sterling K. Brown. <laughs> so, he's so cool. Somebody say Isaac and Elizabeth. Yes. 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 You, you do it. Oh, we would like to thank Isaac and Elizabeth. Um, um, I want to thank I want to thank my parents. Without you, this wouldn't even be um, like be able to happen. And I love you guys and thank you guys for taking risks on me and sacrificing like for me and to have this job. So I'm very thankful for that. Yes. Again, let's thank Isaac and Elizabeth and our entire writing staff. Because we are, as an ensemble, we are only as good as the words that come on the page. And we have an incredible uh, just room of writers and storytellers that help us tell this story every day. Um, so we, we have to give it up to our writers, our producers, and even our, our crew for being able to, to really put together an amazing, amazing uh, show that, that I, I love being a part of. Mel, you? I just wanted to say really quickly, going back to the first question, what inspires me to keep going? Just the sheer love of the work and the writing. So thank you so much to our writers. Yeah. Oh. Let me say, I'll say one. Oh, go ahead. I want to thank my DP, uh, Yasu. Yes, Especially because I do a lot of scenes with a lot of white people, and your boy still shows up. That's hard to do sometimes, so thank you, Yasu. I appreciate you. Yeah, what I'm light-skinned, not white. <laughs> Mike Renner in the front to black tree, please. I'm not saying nothing. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Congratulations. I'm Jaleesa from Black Tree TV. 
Of course, this show brings a lot out of everyone emotionally. I'm curious, do any of you have any personal things that you've learned from your character about yourself? Oh, jeez. Um, watching uh, the show, uh, when I saw Mr. Sterling and Ron Cephas Jones, uh, it was episode 116, I believe, or 117 where he passed? Uh, 116. Uh, so I, I spent, my father passed away when I was about uh, 12, and I spent many years, you know, coping with that and not fully addressing it. Uh, even though I went to counseling groups and stuff like that, but being able to watch it on TV and it be so similar to what happened in my life, uh, it really affected me, and I believe it, it, it helped me grow as a person. Uh, so I, th I thank the writers and Mr. Sterling and Ron, Mr. Ron and, uh, and so forth for portraying that, because, you know, it really helped me, and that, it, it made me learn a lot about myself. Oh, right on. Last question in the front row. Front row. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, this question is for Chrissy, Brandy from InStyle. Just really quick, I wanted to ask you if A, you will ever wear a train again after tonight, <laughs> and then also, mm. um, what would you tell yourself um, when you, there was a point where you were not going to give up, but it was a tough time. Jason Bateman talked about how you're one job away, and that kind of was it for This Is Us. So yeah. I want to know, what would you tell your younger self at that moment, looking back on that? Yeah, you know, uh, the train thing, I'm kind of over it. I think everyone else is, too. Um, but it does get to come off. I put snaps on this thing, y'all. So it's coming off. It's exciting. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like transformer, a little something like that. Um, yeah, you know, I definitely was one job away. I completely couldn't relate to Jason's speech, and of course, got a little teary eyed. Um, you know, I had to borrow money to pay my SAG dues, and I wasn't even working. So, like, it was a struggle. But I think that it's one of those things. Sort of piggybacking on the the dream question was that there's something that is not fulfilled within you that you are like. Oh, I, I, there's still something there and there's still something that I have to do and not from an ego place or a prideful place but like there's a story that I'm supposed to tell and so I'm really grateful that I am able to do that and I uh, stuck it out long enough I think Harrison Ford said he just stood in line long enough so honey I'll stand in line and I'm very glad I did so yeah thank you so much that was the last question